Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. We got to talk about this pattern this week because thankfully we're seeing rain, but it's not one of those things where it rains everywhere every day. It's kind of a complicated setup, though I love the fact that we're getting some rain. This is going to certainly help with the drought. It will not eliminate the drought, but it's certainly going to help. We're kind of in the same pattern. The pattern has really not changed much the last couple of days. What's going on is we basically have a stalled front here. We've got high pressure, the Bermuda High, which is typically somewhat over uh, the island of Bermuda. It's pumping in all of this warm, humid air. And at times, the jet stream has given us little ripples of energy that move across. So a day like yesterday, where we didn't have a ton of rain around, um, we had very scattered stuff. I would say it was one of those days where you probably didn't see much rain in many locations. That was primarily because that ripple had pushed off here. Another one was moving, and you're in between. It's like, think of it as waves. As waves move through, you get crests and troughs. Sometimes you're in the trough, sometimes you're in the crest. Yesterday was a day we certainly had a more of a trough, a trough set up than the crest of the wave. But you can see back to the west, we definitely have another ripple coming through northern Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama. That's likely going to arrive here later this afternoon and this evening, and it's going to help produce probably some scattered showers and storms again. A couple things I want to show you that we look at. We've got um, the Flash flood outlook. We show you this every once in a while. I'm going to pop it up here in a minute as I pause this. I'm going to turn the satellite off just so it's easier to see um, as well. You see the area kind of shaded in red there, or excuse me, um, orange or yellow. And it's always tough, kind of like a mustard look. I'm going to fill it in here. Um, that's yellow, I guess, but kind of mustardy looking on this one. That's the medium risk for flash flooding today. The green is the low risk. Tomorrow, we're in the low to medium risk again. We look at day three. We're in the medium risk, so this is Thursday. Friday, we're still in the low to medium risk. And then we go to Saturday, and you can see we're kind of back in the low risk. So you get the idea. It's it's a pretty wet pattern over the next couple of days uh, with the risk of scattered storms moving in. The problem is, and this is where the chance of rain comes in. People always say, hey, Brad, chance of rain is 50, 60, 70%. If you haven't seen my video on chance of rain, go back to my page and look at it. But it basically means that's the chance of seeing rain at some point during the day has nothing to do with duration or intensity. That's why I like doing videos like this to kind of explain that while there won't be rain all day long, the rain that does develop today is going to be heavy and intense for short periods of time. So let's get into that future cast to kind of give you a rough idea on when this rain is going to arrive and kind of roughly where it's going to arrive. All right, so we'll dive head first into the future cast here. You can see dry this morning. So if you want to get out, get a run in, do some lawn mowing, some yard work, take the dog for a walk. First half of the day looks fine. I'm going to stop this at 2 o'clock this afternoon. You can see most of the area is dry. We will start to see storms develop in the mountains and along the coast. These are two trigger points. The mountains always trigger, trigger thunderstorms because of the differential heating. Basically, Mountains heat differently. It's warmer in the valleys and cooler at the top of the mountain, and that creates basically differential heating. What that is, essentially like a, a cold front or, or a warm front. On the coast, you see storms because that's the sea breeze. Sea breeze develops cooler water, produces a little cool front. We call it a sea breeze, and it moves inland. So those are trigger points, and it kind of shows you that the atmosphere is so amped up, all you need is something to get storms to develop. And in this case, the mountains and the sea breeze do most of the work. As we get into the afternoon, the other trigger is the heating of the day, the ground heating up and causing updrafts to develop. And you can see by three, four o'clock, we see scattered storms developing across the Piedmont. They're pretty scattered to isolated again. Not everyone's gonna see them, but the ones that do develop will be potentially, potentially heavy with some downpours. We go into the evening hours and you can see they're pretty scattered. They're more confined, I would say, um, to the mountains and areas north of Interstate 40. So I'm, I'm looking at this area primarily and then probably down in here. So across the Piedmont, you might not see a lot of rain during the day today. Overnight, though, we could see some lingering showers and storms. Now, tomorrow, we wake up in the morning. There might be some storms that are around tomorrow morning. So this will be an interesting setup because unlike the last couple of days, everything's been afternoon and evening. Wednesday could be more in the morning. You see these storms kind of developing and fizzling out as we go through the day, the atmosphere will reload as things heat up and get unstable again. And by the evening, we'll see another round of storms. What's interesting for Thursday, and why Thursday looks to be a day to me that's probably going to be the wettest day we see, there's there's a more substantial one of these little ripples or disturbances that is going to come through. And it's going to produce more widespread shower storms. So this is Wednesday evening. We've got a pretty good chance of scatter storms. But as we go into early Thursday, 
This is Thursday morning, 2 a.m. Look at all the rain around. So you get the idea. Thursday could be a pretty wet day. And if you look carefully, you can actually kind of see kind of a low pressure system. There's kind of like a, a little setup here. So this is definitely something to watch. There's definitely potential for a wave of heavy rain on Thursday. And for that reason, Thursday's kind of the day, if I had to pick one that, hey, you know, we're going to look at some substantial rainfall across the area. If I look at the seven day, the five day rainfall forecast, I'm going to turn off the radar so it's not so confusing here. Um, this kind of gives you a rough idea on how much rain we could see. So I'm going to get rid of all this so it's easier to see. You kind of see the pockets of heavier rain. And again, the areas we're talking about down in here, the red areas, you're looking at areas that are probably going to see anywhere from four to as much as five inches of rain back here, more in the one to two inch range. So it's going to be an active couple of days here. It won't rain every single day at your location, but at some point, there's a good chance you're going to see some heavy downpours as we go through the week. Of course, I will post updates throughout the week. As we get closer to this, we'll go back to the current conditions. That's the current setup right now. It is super warm, super humid. I do not have to tell you this. The dew points right now are crazy high. They're in the 70s and even 80s. The air temperatures are already in the 80s. It's going to be steamy out there before these storms develop, so just be aware of that as well. Have a great, great Tuesday.